Hello, my friends. Continuing with this modeling project, I keep building the multi-part project, series of videos if you will, related to a zombie apocalypse. This fourth part is related to finishing the construction of the diorama, scale 1 by 35, and painting it. It will be used in the apocalyptic scenario. The following project is inspired by imaginary events. I wanted, as the fourth project, to finish constructing the diorama of the apocalyptic scenario and painting it. If everything will go as planned, it will be completed in the next few projects. Black foam board of 0.5 cm thickness and 25 by 10 cm to make a building. Already marked windows and door. Cutting at 10 cm. Off camera prepared the four sides of the building and its roof. Hot gluing. Attention. Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Repeating the same procedure with these pieces that I had prepared. The smaller room will be placed on top of the building. Did a window here. This is where I will place this room. Balsa wood for the window sills and PVA gluing. Same thing for the door's frames.
ready fill her in a scrappy way for the illusion of an old and abandoned appearance. Exactly what I was going for. Black primer. Hello Watchtower my old friend. Same procedure for the water tank. Same thing for the fuel tank. Great play and film.
These fences, airbrushing them instead of painting them for better gray primer application. Unfortunately had technical issues with the airbrush so I am back to black primer painting. It will take more time and the end result could be questionable. May the force be with me. Off-camera prepared some balsa wood and net pieces, super gluing them on the windows and then cutting and removing the excess net. I am doing this for the illusion of enhanced windows security. From a plastic box I cut pieces and did some sandpaper work on them. They are going to be the glass on the windows, PSA tape gluing. PVA gluing the doors. Uh. Flat brown airbrushing. Catastrophe. We'll fix this after the airbrushing though. Sand yellow painting. Uh. 
finished off camera, including gluing the braces. Old rust airbrushing. Dark rust, with a hard brush and a wooden stick, splashing. Repeating the same thing but with medium rust. Iron oxide pigment diluted with thinner and splashing. It will look much better when it will dry. Brown washing. dark brown painting. It is kind of glossy because usually they would apply some kind of a varnish for wooden roof ceiling. Second coating.
medium rust painting. Sand yellow. White washing, here and there, for the illusion of water leaking on the outside. Brown washing. Rust texture diluted with water and washing. medium rust air brushing. Airbrushing with light rust, here and there. Painting the pipes with red-brown. Masking fluid with this little sponge, here and there. It is a kind of a chipping technique as you will see later on.
airbrushing with pale gray. painting with gray. Gray painting. With a hard brush, taking the masking fluid away. accidentally removed the fumes pipe but I will glue it back later. Uh. Rust texture diluted with water and washing. washing. Light rust diluted with water and washing here and there.
washing here and there with medium rust. Mix of dark rust and hull red. Washing. Feel stains here and there. Black washing. I'll read the windows, frames, and door. Mixing black and grey while washing. Rust air brushing.
dark rust splashing. Hopefully you like the project and you will enjoy the very simple presentation. The proper one will be on the diorama that eventually I will release. Since I am a new to this amazing art, please do share your words of wisdom in the comments below. Hit the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more zombie apocalyptic content as well as for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.